Ooh. this year. Mm. Most uh, notably be Isam and Atelier. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Japanese Rosalina. Please pardon us. But, and uh, beating those names at Super Smash Con. And I believe he has a couple more wins under his belt that I've just not hit to at the moment. I haven't taken a look at his resume too recently. Yeah, and the freestyle we're giving you right now, I mean, that's that's off the top, right? And yeah. we're going to see if Zenodo impresses upon his dominance that he's One. sort of cultivated this year, but with some shaky losses, has had a lot of people cause a lot of doubt about. So if this is a loss for Zenodo, I'm going to see a lot of talk about, well, I mean, is Zenodo really that sort of top player material? And not just is he a top player material, but can he be a consistent top player? Right. Because that's the issue he's currently struggling with, which everyone does. But at a top player, I mean, the pressures, the matchups, and the caliber of player is astronomically high than for any person that just started the game. All right. Starting off the right off the bat, uh, Zenodo had a pretty hot start. It went a while without being touched, but now Darkwizzy seems like he has figured out what he needs to do. I am and so speaking of figuring out what you need Dark to do. Dark Wizard. Yeah, Macabre. Definitely looking like a wizard, how he just brought that Discord. game like magic. Absol absolutely crazy. Black magic. And as soon as, like, Mario is such a frustrating character, man. Pestilence. Like, that, that, was, that was solid play, solid conversions. But Famine. You, you have to understand, like, you have to just think about how Zenodo's feeling now, because he had that good start. And then Dark Wizzy was like, okay, let me get one grab. All right, how about one more? And how about one more after that, just to seal the deal, you know? Arcane. <laughs> we're still going? Yeah, we're going. I mean, Dark Wizzy here, I mean, it's it's a... Oh, I, just, just okay, escape. Just I'm, do it. Uh, um, let me compose myself. Because, that, was, that was for Anton. Yeah, okay. So Zenodo needs the safety, and he needs the banana control on the ledge to get these sort of situations that would put him in the lead, which he's not getting right now because the safety from Dark Wizzy is actually leaving a lot. Oh, yeah. A lot in his favor. I'm, I'm actually very impressed with this, like... This is not really even a, like a, a campy game. It's just more of a like Scared. a patient game. Like he's trying to scare Zenodo with his presence more so than scaring him with the hitbox. Yeah, Dark Wizzy wasn't prudent at all. Even at you know dying before hit at 141. Or sorry, dying after hit at 141. I mean he still wasn't prudent. He was still in there. I mean look at oh, Ooh, if he hit that, flashback. I would not have trusted this game anymore. Flashback. All right, now Zenodo at dangerous percent right here. He has to figure out a way to put on some damage so he can bring himself back in the game. But at this point, if you get grabbed by Mario and you're not at center stage, uh, bad things could happen. Like, like very bad. Like, I'm talking very bad. I'm talking down throw forward air over the ledge type bad. All right, All right so, so he gets grabbed. He's at center stage here. So that's probably great, the most Dark Wizzy going to get. Great right back air and great B reversal. Making use of that tech so that he's positioned well and getting the most amount of damage from that ground. Zenodo. That that was leave it, leaving, the, leaving the banana at roll distance. Dark Wizzy rolls into it and then he gets his follow-ups. I was expecting monkey flip. But usually when I see people on the Oh! Get the roll back. Reverse. Dark? How, how do you go from the starting off the game how you did and then just taking the game how you did? Uh, getting a Bachelors of Dark Magic from Hogwarts? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this, this, okay, this is a situation where now we're seeing the consistency drops. We're seeing someone coming with a very specialized skill set, mm -hmm. Dark Wizzy. Okay, hasn't gotten too much exposure as maybe Zenodo, but we're seeing some of the cracks Three, in Zenodo's two, game right now. One, and that, and that, that bites, you know, because you have things like second at CEO under your, under your belt. You know, you have a lot of titles in the Midwest under your belt. Right. And right now you're getting shook. Right. You're getting shook. And he, like, it is the worst kind because he was definitely in control of that game. And then it just out of, slipped out away. Of, seemingly out of nowhere. Yeah, that fair he definitely had that some mental consequences because that fair took a lot of his of his confidence. Like, it, it doesn't really show like like right away. Like it, he doesn't seem like he's taking tilted options. Like I'm not gonna say he's tilted or anything, but it, it definitely put something in his head that probably resulted in that game ending the way it did. But I can't pick into the, the heads of a player, old, but so much, you know? Yeah. And again, we see <laughs> a situation where Zenodo being ranked on the last Panda Global Rankings and Dark Wizzy not being ranked. I mean, so much has changed since then. Right, like, this is this That is... name was not something that came up within the discussion of, oh, he could beat Zenodo or he can beat some of these players, but... And here he is, he's doing it. Two years later. Oh my God. You, see, you see the mind games, he charges Flood the other way, and I'm gonna drop some knowledge. If you don't know, if Mario Tell ever me. charges Flood, Teach it's me. a bait. Like, like straight up. If he charges, if, if he Ally charges has Flood, taught us anything. <laughs> if he charges Flood and you're not off stage, it is nothing but a bait. So he charged it the other way, and then as soon as he thought Zenodo was going to react, he turned around. Oh, nice banana smash from Zenodo. He turned around, threw the banana at Zenodo to catch him running in, and then just got his free follow up. 
right now Dark Pussy just he just lost his stock, but Zenodo at 137. We all know what Mario's looking for when you're at this percent. It'll kill without rage, so he doesn't have to worry about it not killing, he just has to worry about it hitting. Exactly. Needs to roll back again, but he's too late. Alright, down tilt, down smash, I like that. Not going for the grab, not giving Mario any chance to abuse that nair That's frame three big out of combos. Down smash is just gonna hit Mario in that situation every single time. Alright, for uh back throw rather, not gonna take it. Alright, charging him flood. Those have been in the up thinking Zenodo was going to react. Very good, and I think that little rise from the down there kept it so that he can actually power shield the last hit, which would have put Zenodo in a very awful spot. But thankfully he was able to power shield the last hit. All right, dangerous situation. Zenodo with the brave option, jumping over Mario to get that back air, and then another brave option trying to cut off that up B. Exactly. Yeah, you don't try to you don't try to cut off super jump punch. You just don't. You don't. You do not. It's invincible on startup, and I, we have seen some of the wonkiest knockback angles from that move. All right. Down throw, he has the up tilt started. Using that Nair, I have never seen Nair used like in that kind of strength. Like I don't know if that's new or I don't just know. I just don't watch Mario enough, but air dodge. Nair's gonna catch you when you come back. And then when weak Nair hits you, grab combos from weak Nair. Like that, that was that was innovative. Like that, that air quotes, innovative. <laughs> I mean that that's a note too. He's one of the more innovative cerebral Diddy Kongs. Whereas Angel Cortez is very like I said, he was like a more technical one. Like, yeah. Like a more tricky. Three, yeah, tr two, tricky and technical one. doesn't always Let mean go. innovative. Right. It but, can. But he, but he innovates. Exactly. He but thinks uh, of new ways to press his advantage in situations that he's put in. And I think that's one of the more incredible qualities about Zenoda because it shows his ability to not only adapt, but also to craft these sort of answers to the problems he's faced with. All right, now Dark Wizzy doing the exact same thing, showing hey, I'm pretty innovative too. You see the stuff I'm coming up with? Using, using this cape in a way that a whole lot of Mario's don't really use it in the matchup. They don't really like they don't really like the idea of throwing out cape in just a neutral stance because of the consequences. But against Diddy Kong, when his primary options are banana throw and monkey flip, and he can just get rid of both of those options immediately with you know the flick of the special button, uh, you know, it's pretty it's a pretty good option. It's an option that definitely underpins again the sort of innovation that he holds. All right, Zenodo, yeah, I, I saw the monkey flip coming, and Dark Wizzy definitely saw it coming, too. Tried to run to center stage to get a harder punish, but he's only going to take a trade. Air dodge, I think Zenodo wanted to land on the top platform and up smash, because we saw a really late up air, and we saw him kind of real bad in the seat. I think that might have been like a, oh, man, I messed up type of thing. Oh, nice pivot grab from Dark Wizzy, not even bothering with the up smash. But uh, Zenodo thinks he's going to go for up smash, so he just holds shield and gets grabbed. All right. Long flipping back to state. Tries to go for another pivot grab. Oh, another pivot grab. He just doesn't care. I like that. If, if you're going to hold shield, I'm going to press the Z button. Get that up air after the air dodge. I like that. All right, Zenodo has to recover all the way to the other side of the stage. And double Solid. back air from Solid. the short hop. The second one's going to catch him. And Solid. we have Dark Wizzy on set point right now. This is definitely a notch on a belt that Dark Wizzy wants, especially going into the end of this year, end of this season. Okay. And we're seeing the possible makings of it. Oh yeah, you can see the look on Dark Wizzy's face. He's determined. You can hear New York in the back. They they want to see this happen. Yeah, New York definitely seeing the Midwest be politely let out by Dark Wizard himself is something yeah, that, that they want to see. No rage, doesn't Dead matter. Even. You're, you're on 160. Four minutes left on the clock. Bottom of the ninth, first conversion. All right, wow. Just going for the fourth throw from like, usually see, did you do a fourth throw when they, oh, the reset, but oh. he didn't get the, the follow up. I, I think that he recognized that he been. got it, but the positioning was off. Exactly. He was already off size by the time he wanted to return to that jab lock. Right. Well, back air lock, light back air tap. I mean, it, they're all like, we'll, we'll just call them re like locks at this point, you know? Yeah, it was a lock. An unexpected one, I think. It caught both of them by surprise for sure. All right. Using that nair, just. He's not really using nair to get in, but the way Dark is using this nair, he's, it looks like he's trying to, like, Stop banana from me. Oh my god, if he was over the edge of the stage, that he, would have been curtain. He waited for the air dodge and the monkey flip. Like, the patience he had in that full hop was ridiculous. Oh my god, the power shields. Dark Wizzy has banana in hand. Blood isn't fully charged. zeno has got a watch off for that. Like I said, it's a bait. Oh, he called that. He called that out so hard. Take it off the top, Barber. All right, back air. He's off stage. Zenoda has banana in hand. He has to watch how he approaches now. Oh no, that's it. 
And the pop off from Dark oh, Wizzy after oh. he takes it with the taunt. As soon as I saw Zenodo get hit by the Nair and start spinning, I knew he was in for a lot of trouble. And Dark Wizzy did the he did the perfect thing. He didn't try to overextend. He didn't see it and just you know get red.